I now recognize the ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Jordan, for his opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Bar Justice Department is about correcting injustice. I mean, the very day, you almost have to laugh at this, the very day you have a hearing going after the Bar Justice Department and alleging that there's politics involved there, the very day we get the order from the United States Court of Appeals. The order says, dismissing the Flynn case, the district court is directed to grant the government's motion to dismiss. The district court's order appointing amicus is hereby vacated. The very, I mean, they're not political, they're just right. If there's any politics, I mean, it's, again, you almost have to laugh if it wasn't so serious. The politics, the, Attorney General Holder said he was Obama's wingman. The Obama-Biden Justice Department attacked investigative journalists. Here's what one of them said. Here's what one of them said. James Risen with the New York Times said this. If a president throws a whistleblower in jail for trying to talk to a reporter or gets the FBI to spy on a journalist, he will have one man to thank for bequeathing him such expansive power, Barack Obama. That's not me talking. That's James Risen of the New York Times. When the Justice Department, the Obama holder Biden Justice Department, went after him. Of course, we know about Fast and Furious. We know about Operation Choke Point. And even though the chairman always doesn't want to talk about this, we know how political the Justice Department was in the whole Russian hoax, the whole Trump-Russia investigation. Remember this, the Obama-Biden Department of Justice spied on four American citizens. That's, that's the big thing you guys have with, with Bill Barr, too. The first time he testified in front of the sentence, he used the word spying, and everyone went crazy. But he used the word spying because that's exactly what happened. They spied on four American citizens associated with the presidential campaign, an investigation we now know was completely bogus because Rick Grinnell released all the transcripts from all the people who were involved in the intelligence community in the previous administrations, and they all said there was nothing there. The Obama-Biden Just Obama Justice Department, in order to spy on those Americans, what did they do? They lied to the FISA court 17 times. They used the now famous dossier, the dossier that Jim Comey, not Jim Jordan, Jim Comey said was salacious and unverified. They didn't tell the court the guy who wrote it was, quote, desperate to stop Trump. They didn't tell the guy who wrote it was being paid by the Clinton campaign to put it together. And they used that to get a warrant to spy on one of our fellow citizens. And you guys think that's no big deal. Bill Barr understands that's a big deal. And that's why John Durham is doing his investigation. And of course, you know who else thought it was a big deal? The Inspector General of the Justice Department, Michael Horowitz, who wrote a 400-page report talking about those 17 lies, talking about all the abuses that took place in the Comey, Biden, Obama Justice Department. But guess what? This committee, the Judiciary Committee, didn't even get a chance to ask questions of Mr. Horowitz about that report because the chairman won't bring him in to testify. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that. 400-page report written by the Inspector General of the Justice Department scathing report about the FISA court and the chair of the Judiciary Committee with the storied history this committee has in protecting people's liberties won't even let him come in and testify. Well, here's what U.S. District Judge and FISA presiding judge Rosemary Collier said about the findings in Mr. Horowitz's report, quote, the frequency with which representations made by FBI personnel turned out to be unsupported, think about that, Representations made by FBI personnel turned out to be unsupported. You know what that is? That's a nice way of saying they lied or contradicted by information in their possession and with which they withheld information detrimental to their case. Withheld information detrimental to their case is another way of saying they lied. Calls into question whether information contained in other FBI applications is reliable. You put that all in simple English, what Judge Collier was saying is you guys lied to us so many darn times, how are we supposed to believe anything you bring in front of the court, that was all in that 400-page report from the Inspector General, but Chairman Nadler won't even let Inspector General Horowitz come in here and answer our questions and go into, into detail about that report. And yet today, the day we get the ruling from the Court of Appeals, the Chairman says it's the Trump DOJ, it's the Barr DOJ that's political. Guess what else happened in the final days of the Obama administration? Guess what else happened? 38 different people unmask Michael Flynn's name 49 times. 49 times. Clapper, Comey, Brennan, Biden unmasked Michael Flynn. Six people at the Treasury Department. Holy cow. Everyone, this is between Election Day and Inauguration Day. And Bill Barr just simply wants to get to the bottom of all this, and somehow that's political? 
when in fact the politics was in the previous administration, he's trying to stop it so it doesn't. Here's what these people said. Here's how we know this was all a joke. Clapper. I never saw any direct evidence that the Trump campaign or someone who was conspiring with the Russians. Jim Clapper said that, and yet we had a two-year investigation by the Mueller team. Susan Rice, I don't recall intelligence that I would consider evidence. Ben Rhodes said the same. Sally Yates, I don't believe anybody had reached a conclusion yet as to whether Russians were conspiring with. They had nothing, yet they go through this entire investigation. Samantha Power, same thing. All these key people who were unmasking Michael Flynn's name all knew there was no predicate for the investigation, and it happened, and somehow the bar Justice Department is political? Like I said, they're not political. They're just right, and we saw that with the decision today. Finally, let me just say this. I've never seen anything like I've been saying this for I don't know how long, but it's the truth. I have never seen an agency where this happened. The top people, the very people Bill Barr, and that same, that same testimony he gave where he, talked about, where he talked about spying, he also said this. He said, there was a failure of leadership at the upper echelon of the FBI in the previous administration. That may be the understatement of the year. Jim Comey fired, leaked memos, leaked memos in order to get the special counsel to put our country through what, what we went through the past few years. Andy McCabe, deputy director, fired, referred by that same IG for prosecution. Jim Baker, FBI counsel, investigated by the U.S. attorney in Connecticut, took information from the DNC lawyer. And of course, now famous Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, the individuals who ran the Clinton investigation, the mid-year exam, ran Crossfire Hurricane, Crossfire Razor, the Trump-Russia investigations. They were both kicked off Mueller's team. Peter Strzok was fired. We all know the bias they had against President Trump. We saw it in hundreds of text messages that we've all, are all now too familiar with. The politics was in the previous administration. Bill Barr is doing the Lord's work trying to clean it up so that it doesn't happen again. And we have said this before, and I'll say it in, in closing. Emmett Flood's statement a little over a year ago where he said this, we would all do well to remember if they can do it to a president, they can lie to a FISA court to get a warrant to go after a president, to go after a major party's political campaign. If they can do it to a president, imagine what they can do to you or I. Imagine what they can do to the folks we get the privilege of representing back home. That's why this is important. That's why the work Bill Barr is doing is important. You guys can continue to play your political games. Bill Barr is going to get to the truth. I yield back. Our great senators. Hi, Chuck. He used to love me when I was a Democrat, you know. <laughs>